Okay, we're going to take a look at reflections today. So on your notes, take a look for the part that has um, the empty boxes. So in our first box, we have action. Then we've got words. And finally, algebra. Okay, for the action, what happens is a reflection, the shape, line, or point, flips. Over a given line. Okay, so the, the shape is going to flip. It's a mirror, a reflection is just a mirror image. Okay, in words, the directions you're going to see are going to be, um, it'll say reflect over the x-axis will be one option. The y-axis will be another option. Or you might be given a line. So, so once in a while you're given the equation of a line, but usually it's either the x-axis or the y-axis. So those will be the instructions that you're given. Now the algebra we're going to come back to because there's something I want you to see first before we start um, before we start looking at the algebra part of it. Okay, so pause and get anything copied you need because we're clearing it out. All right. Next up, let's take a look at a few reflections here. Our first um, picture up on the left is an x-axis reflection. So if I click my shape, this is my shape reflecting over the x-axis. Okay, so again, reflecting over the x-axis. So what you'll see <clears throat> is that the x-axis is representing like the mirror. So the mirror reflection is happening right here over the x-axis. So what's, what, we have ha what we have is if this point is 2 above the x-axis, the reflection will create a point 2 below the x-axis. So if it was 2 above, it's now 2 below. This point over here was 4 above, now it's going to be 4 below. So if we take a look down, down here, our pre-image, our first point was at, we'll say one, two, and our second point, so I'm looking at the blue one. My second point was negative three, four. Okay, we'll call this A and B. So A was one, two, and B was three, four. So my image of A became one, negative two. And my image of B became negative 3, negative 4. So something I want you to notice is I want you to compare your x-coordinates and your y-coordinates in between the, Im the pre-image and the image. <clears throat> what do you notice? Is there something similar or different about the x-coordinates? How about the y-coordinates? Okay, so what happens to the x-coordinate? x-coordinate stays the same. The y-coordinate, now the first thought is, okay, well, if it's a 2, it becomes a negative 2, it, get, it becomes negative. Well, now what happens if we, if we reflected the other way, if it was at a negative 2, the new, the new point would be at a positive 2. So it doesn't always necessarily mean it's going to be negative. What we're going to write is the opposite. Your y-coordinate is going to become the opposite of what it was. So my y-coordinate becomes the opposite. If it was positive, now it's negative. If it was negative, now it's positive. 
Let's take a look at our next one. If this reflects over the, the y-axis, take a look and see what's happening as it reflects over the y-axis. So in this case, my y is the reflection point. Okay. Over the y. So if we write, if we call this point A and this point B, let's get our ordered pairs. We're going to do this in a little bit of a different order. So A, the ordered pair is 3, 3. B is 1, 1. Now for my image, if you're unsure what's going to happen, let's just look at our points. Well, my B was to the, to the, um, to the right one, so my new B is going to be to the left one. My A was to the right three, now it's going to be to the left three. So my reflection, again, I'm, my Y value is the same, but my X is going to become the opposite. So now what I have is I have the X value staying the same, excuse me, the Y value staying the same, and the X value becomes the opposite. Take a look at my ordered pairs. So in, when it reflects over the y-axis, the x stays the same. Excuse me. Oh gosh, sorry. In our, when it reflects over the y-axis, our x becomes the opposite. And our y stays the same. Okay, the reason these, this is happening is when we reflect over the x-axis, it's a vertical movement. If you look at, at our shape for the coordinate, or reflecting over the x-axis, it's a vertical movement. It's a movement for up and down, and that's why the y-coordinate changes. For our reflection over the y-axis, this is a vertical movement. It's a left-to-right movement, so that is why our x-coordinate changes. Okay, so hit pause and get that copied. And let's go to our next page. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at this example. I want, we're going to reflect over the x axis. Hold off on the algebra words for a second. Now I want you to notice we're reflecting over the x-axis, which is right here. And you'll see that my shape crosses over. All right, it's a little bit tricky, but not, not too bad. What we want to look at here is when we're reflecting, we want to focus on our coordinates. So let's just focus on the corners here. And we'll call this A, B, C, and D. What I want you to focus on is not anything other than pick a point and reflect it. Okay, so I'm going to pick B and I'm going to reflect it over the x-axis and it's going to go here. So B was one above, now it's going to be one below. C was one above, now C is going to be one below. A, A was three below, now it's going to be three above. D was three below, now it's going to be three above. And here's my new shape. Now let's go ahead and write our coordinates. For my first shape, it was A, B, C, and D. My coordinates for A were negative one, negative three. B was negative two, one. C was negative 3, 1, and D, I'm sorry, C was negative 4, excuse me. And D is negative 5, negative 3. Okay, now let's take a look at our new shape, our reflected, our image. And A is now negative 1, positive 3. B is negative 1, excuse me negative two, negative one. C is negative four, negative one. And D is negative five, positive three. So we reflected over the x-axis and let's take a look at what happened. 
My x's stayed the same. Look at my y's. Did every single y become the opposite? Sure did. So our algebra, our x stays the same, our y becomes the opposite of y. It's a little bit trickier because we our, our shape crossed over through the x-axis, but if you just focus on reflecting point by point, it's not bad at all. Hit pause, get that copied, and we'll try another one. Right. Now our last one is kind of a, a multiple, multiple situation here. I'm going to get you started and have you try to finish. Number one, reflect the figure over the x-axis. Okay, so for number one, I'm going to take each point. It definitely helps to draw dots at each corner just to help you focus. So if, I'm, if my first point here is two below, I'm going to go two above. And the other thing that helps is labeling. That way you can keep track of what is what. So my new D, E was four below, so now e, my new E is going to be four above. G is two below, so my new G is going to be two above. And my F was four below, so now my F will be four above. The other thing to do is label that number one because that matches our work for number one. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to translate this shape. So it says then translate using x plus 2, y minus 4. So each of my points are going to go to the right 2 and down 4. So if I start with d here, I'm going to go to the right 2 and down 4 and put, that's my new d. And I would actually put two um, apostrophes. Okay, for E, I'm over 2, down 4, so that's my new E. F, to the right 2, down 4. And G, to the right 2, and down 4. And see, now it's starting to get a little bit confusing. It took me a second to just double check that I was doing everything correctly. Here's my new shape, and I'm calling that number 2. Now I want you to try number three, and let's see if you get the same thing that I get. So try number three with me. Pause if you need to. Phew. All right, there we go. Let's see how you did. That's a tricky one, but not too bad. That's all. Hit pause if you need to.